Hey y'all, Maddie Roberts here, and I had a girlfriend come in and ask me how on earth I'm able to stick to this crazy diet that I'm, you know, espousing. And I thought, crazy diet? What are you talking about, girl? And she said, how do you do steamed broccoli and plain old broiled chicken breast that tastes like cardboard? And I thought, well, I don't. That's not what I'm eating. I don't know what she's eating, but that's not what I'm eating. Um, what is really, really important to this, and if you're going to stick with a good plan, you've got to enjoy your food. So you've got to have some joy every time you sit down to that plate. There are four little things that I use in heavy rotation when I cook, and I use the term cook lightly. I more sort of assemble food. Um, but I want to share these with you because it'll make a huge difference in your enjoyment. Um, good old Laughing Cow, the light stuff is really good. It comes in a couple different flavors. So today for lunch, I made broccoli, just frozen, you know, regular organic broccoli. Thaw it out, pop it in the microwave, Two of these um, on the broccoli, stir it all together, it gets melty and kind of creamy. This only at two of them are only 70 calories, which is great. Um, that was my lunch. Then I sprinkled on top of it a little bit of ponzu sauce. This is the other fabulous little trick that I want to share with you. Ponzu sauce has zero calories. It's a little salty, so you know, watch the sodium thing, but it's delicious. And I like this is the um, just the, the citrus version. So good. You can put it in all kinds of things, and it's really yummy. The third one I want to share with you, it's a little more expensive, but it's completely worth every penny, is black truffle oil. And the key thing, if you're eating food that's really super simple, like the chicken breast or, you know, a thing of cauliflower or steamed vegetables, you really want intense flavors. Black truffle oil sprinkled in over it. You could, have, you could do that with the laughing cow and then a little bit of this to give it some flavor. Oh, it would be divine. It's kind of expensive. A little tiny thing like this is like 12 bucks. I mean, that's New York prices, so maybe you can find it a little cheaper in your gourmet gourmet market, but it's really worth it. It's delicious. And, and keep it in the fridge, though, because it's a volatile oil, and it'll preserve its lifetime. All right, this is my final one. I put this on everything. If it will sit still, I will put paste picante on it. I'm not kidding you. I would eat grass clippings covered in paste picante sauce. It's so good. And do you know how hard it is to find the hot stuff? I have to actually drive to Connecticut to the Target in Stamford to find hot paste picante. I know, but you know, it's worth it. You can put it on, like do a can of tuna, a little bit of this, a little ranch dressing, that kind of thing, put it over some greens, this over any kind of vegetables, this over chicken breast with like a little bit of, a bit of gruyere melted down on top of it and then broil that. It makes a huge difference. So my four real go-to items in my fridge are the Laughing Cow, the ponzu sauce, truffle oil, and paste. And if anybody's got a hookup at paste and they can like send a few cases of this stuff my way, I would greatly appreciate it. In the meantime, I wish you thin thighs and inner peace, and as always, helping you stay as glamorous as you can stand to be. I'm Maddie Roberts.